is going on guys Johnny here and welcome back to another infinite warfare video today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys just a very quick very nice and simple update as to what's going on in the Call of Duty world and what you can expect this March so first off before we get started to uh, with the actual updates I want to say that the new mission team blood anvil actually had some of its audio leaked actually in game it was in datamite and um, it was actually an accident from what I can understand it was just a like just random freak glitch and there was really no explanation to it other than that it happened to this one guy and he just happened to be quick enough to record it and then put it on reddit so I'm gonna have that link down below so you so you guys can also go check that out I'm also gonna link down below the semi cinematic video that was also leaked when uh, the game got datamined maybe about a month and a half ago it was more like a month ago although to be honest so now let's just get into the update I believe it was on Tuesday or Wednesday I don't remember exactly when but Infinity War did a quick uh, live stream just to give folks some uh, quick updates as to what they can expect in in the near future and first off they did talk about the new mission scene and they did confirm it they said it was coming within the coming weeks so we can probably expect that very soon maybe within a month and a half hopefully not too long but if they don't bring it immediately i'm not gonna freak out about it because i'm still working on uh completely maxing out all the current four mission teams that we have right now because now they go all the way up to level 100 so uh, and then along the way you get a bunch of salvage so that's the only reason that i'm really working those but other than that uh, we should be expecting that very soon emblem editor is still coming in mid-march so you know maybe ne next week or the week after that at the latest um, I know a lot of people are saying why don't they just copy and paste the emblem editor from black ops 3 and then just throw it into this game and unfortunately it does not work like that but in the accidental release that we got about maybe two weeks ago when they went live for like five minutes and then they took it down real quick is any indication of what this is gonna be it's gonna be a very good emblem editor me me myself I don't have the artistic um, creativity or patience to go ahead and make uh, like a really cool one but for those of you who actually like making them you will now be able to make them very soon within two weeks at the latest they also talked about new prestigious and new levels now I don't know what new levels means but of course they did talk about new prestigious and those will be coming very soon too uh, they are still in the works apparently and they are going to be updating all of the prestige icons so all the way from one to uh, prestige 20 they are going to be updating those and thank god because all of them so far have just been a skull and pretty much I, like I feel like one guy just said let's grab a skull and let's do like just let's do everything that we can with it make it super boring I don't know what the thought process was but thankfully they are going to update all of the prestige icons so that is very cool and very much appreciated so now I can look at people and I know what prestige they're actually on one last thing that they did talk about is the classic weapons as of right now we have have six class weapons we have the OSA we have the intervention we have the spas 12 or the s ravage and the mac tab or the ump 45 depending on who you are as of right now those are the only six classic weapons we have and they will soon be able to earn the atomizer strikes so that is very cool on top of that they're going to get minor perks according to them so what i think that means is we're just going to get you know just some common perks here and there so maybe we're like we'll get like stability sharpshooter readiness or you know steady just team a few those are just very niche common perks that are found on pretty much almost every gun in the game and the last thing they talked about was actually that the quartermaster was going to get regular updates which cool you know because I'm really hoping for a really good LMG I do use the Mauler Sentinel just for fun when I want to just troll people uh, but other than that I'm not really too big of a fan of any of the LMGs and I think that the raw needs a nerf because it's too overpowered as it is right now but that's for a different video um, but as of right now I don't really think that any of the epic LMGs are truly epic uh, but you know whatever it is what it is um, but I do hope that they do bring some cool epic LMGs to the game and the last thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick is some speculation going around in the Call of Duty community and that's with new prestigious hopefully they will bring new classic weapons I probably should have talk, talked about this earlier but this is just super quick and off the top of my head hopefully they do bring new classic weapons because if they don't I really don't see any reason to prestige at all um, I wouldn't want to the only reason I prestige is uh, of course to get these classic weapons and to get black sky um, unfortunately if they don't bring any I just won't see any reason or any need to actually prestige but that's just me you know you guys might want to prestige to prove that you're the very best that ever was cue the Pokemon soundtrack I wanna be the very best like no one ever was Oh wow, I was way off, wasn't I? Uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A like, a comment, and sub really, really helped me out. Tell me what you guys think down below. Um, and yeah, that's it. 